Caroline, Elias Joe McGann and Diana Weston. And ITV is the upper hand. In this Friday's episode of the new series, Charlie and Caroline find themselves involved in a crime of passion. I think I really did kill Fred. Well, what do you mean? Well, when I saw him make that pass at you, I got angry. I got very angry. So I gave him my killer serve, then my killer return, and then my killer lob. And I killed him. <laughs> I'm pure evil. Oh, no, you're not. Don't be so sure, Caroline. Do you know what this is? This is a crime of passion. I killed for a woman. Oh, Charlie. That is so sweet. <laughs> it may be so sweet, but will it affect the engagement? Will they ever get up the aisle? Let's ask someone now who probably knows the answer. Diana Weston! <laughs> A bit of a country, country feel to yourself well, I today. Think I might be psychic, yes. Not knowing who was on. A little bit of e -hearted. Come on, is the wedding going to be on then? Yes. It is? Definitely. It's definitely happening? Uh, with a few problems, of course. Oh, Nothing right. runs that smoothly. Because <laughs> you've got, what, 12 shows to go before we get there? I think you've got 14. Oh, 14. Oh, good. <laughs> Something yes. to look forward to. It's an hour long special, the wedding, and it's yeah. very pretty. Very, very soft focused, lots of twiddly bits in the air, and it's lovely, except everything goes wrong. Oh, really? And is this the end of it all then? Yes, the final one. In America, in the original Who's the Boss, they didn't marry. So uh, we thought for the English public it would be nice if we could finish it off and have a nice romantic ending. So it was specially commissioned this final hour. Yep. And as I said, nothing runs smoothly. <laughs> right up to the final I do. Uh, well, it's been a great one. That's, what, six years now? Yes, 87 episodes. Mm. I think I'm sitcomed out. Sitcomed out? <laughs> <laughs> for the moment. Did you ever feel like that, Wendy? Did you ever think, oh, I've sitcomed out now? Yeah, I, I did feel as I'd done a, a great deal of comedy oh, and wanted to do... What was the longest run you ever did of episodes together? Oh, uh, of episodes together? Yes. Ten. Right, because yeah. we did 19 once, oh, and that, that was just mind-boggling. Yeah. You just, you can't remember anything else, no, can you? No, because that's, that's one a week, isn't it? Exactly. One a week. Yeah. Non-stop. Five, five days rehearsing, record that the sixth the day, six and, and one day off to, to learn your script for the next lot. Oh, I feel I should get a cup of tea in here and sit and sit here. Doing your job, but, please. Yes, it's fine, carry on, carry on. <laughs> now, you were mentioning the... the, the the upper hand in the States was called Who's the Boss, yes. which is a big successful show. And obviously you were in the Brighton Bells, which was take off of the Golden Girls yes. over here. But it's amazing how sometimes things transfer well and sometimes they don't transfer well. I know. We had a, a two, two men went through each script finitely to get it to change it just right because many of the scripts you couldn't use here because they did 287, I think, out there. <laughs> that is too much. 287, I'd die, I think. <laughs> but there are certain subjects that you couldn't do, like uh, baseball, for example. You'd have to change it to football or something like that. But it's just in the humor. You can hear the Americanism, and you have to change it. Otherwise, you might as well just do the original with an American accent. Yeah. Did you have that problem as well, Wendy? With oh, very oh. much so, yes, with Brighton Bells. I, but I think perhaps one of the problems with Brighton Bells is that whereas um, in America you could... You could visualize three women living together it somehow, happen, yeah. but somehow uh, English women are not quite the same. I, I, I don't know that wealthy and that sort of smart. I don't think they do. I think they're more independent. Yeah, well, we, we weren't supposed to be that wealthy. The lady who owned the house was the wealthy one. Yeah. But um, I, I just think that uh, it wasn't quite um, acceptable in this country, that, um, mm. that line of thinking. Yeah, mm. and also the, that sort of maybe the, the chasing after the younger men. I mean, do you think that's... That's all right. Oh, hello. Excuse me. What's wrong with that? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I, I just think perhaps in Brighton Bells that, that was all we ever seemed to think about. Uh, and I think there were a lot of other things we could have explored. Well, was this that during, was during the show, Wendy, or just uh, well, you know, during tea breaks? <laughs> Here I take a quick drink of water. <laughs> but of course, you're about to, to work in something else which has you chasing chasing a bit of young blood? I don't think I chase. I just spend all my time in bed with a young man. How lovely. Oh, oh, <laughs> Somebody has to do it, yes. It's called an independent man. It's uh, George Cole. Yes, oh. come in, have a quick to join us. Come on. Oh, hello. Yes, I like this. I thing. think I'll get in between you then. <laughs> Are you working on that now? I'm about to, yes. Oh, wonderful. How lovely a job where I just have to lie down with a job. <laughs> Very nice. Well, I look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, carry on. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks to me. Now, you have had great roles in sitcoms, both of you. And is, is it getting harder, though, for, for women to get really good roles in sitcoms? Well, I think, in general, we are in danger of becoming like the Americas, which is a very small amount of people celebrities get the jobs. I mean, the public might be forgiven for thinking there are probably only five actresses in this country. Yeah. You know, they seem to get all the same roles. Now, that's fine if, they, if they're right for it, but I think there's room for everyone. Plus, as you get older, it gets harder to find a good role, I think. Yes, I think that's true. I think that's true. I, th I think there is a time in your life when you're, you can't play the young, glamorous roles and you're not quite into the um, character roles when it's a bit difficult in between. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, we've obviously grown up with you, Wendy, and, and also now, is this right, I hear that you're going to be playing a granny, possibly? Well, it's an idea. Yeah. It's, it's an idea that's floating at the moment, yes. It, and, and that would be fun. I'd be really comfortable with that, you see, because I am a granny. Uh, four times over, I've got a 16-year-old granddaughter. Yeah. So, I mean, I'd be really comfortable with a granny say 16 role. grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be, feel very comfortable with, uh, with being a granny, and you're going to feel very comfortable being in bed with some young boys. I hope so. <laughs> It's a tough old life, isn't it? Will you thank, please, Wendy Craig and Diana Weston? <laughs> That's it from today's show. My thanks to all my guests who are now rushing off to various pantomime matinees across the country, myself included. Join Gloria tomorrow, live just after 12 o'clock, and I'll see you Monday for a very special Gold Hearts Lounge show from London. Bye-bye.